Hello everyone, this is Sam from Language Atlas, and in this video I'm going to show you three things. The first is the two sets of card types that Language Atlas uses. The second is I'm going to give you a recommendation as to which of the two sets of card types you should use. And third and final point is I'm going to show you how you can change to your preferred card type set. So let's get started. The first point is very simple. I'm going to show you the two sets of card types. Open up French A1 verbs, which I'm going to use as an example for this video. You can see within it, there's a smaller deck called card types. You open that one up and you can see that there are two even smaller decks with, inside that one. The first is the beginner friendly one. And the second is the normal one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the two decks and I'm going to compare and contrast them. Now, each deck uses a different set of card types. So it's easy for you to understand which decks, which card types are used in the deck and which card types language Atlas has. So let's begin with the normal one. Study now. And this is the first card type is you either need to conjugate the verb or you need to fill in the correct answer if it's not a verb. So it could have been a pronoun or a negation and you would have to just fill in the correct pronoun negation or anything else in the blank area. So in this case, it's a verb. So we conjugate, je suis content. Je suis content. That's the first card type. The second card type is same as the first one, but you need to type in the correct answer. Now this tests where you can actually spell the word correctly. So a bit of writing, a bit of spelling is tested within this as well. Je suis content. And the answer is in green over here, so we have it correctly. And I put another one over here so you can see it again. The third card type is you see it in French, but you have to know it in English. So you have to translate it. Je suis content. The final point is, the, four, the final card type is this one. You see it in English, but you have to know it in French. Je suis content. Je suis content. Now that's that for the four card types in the normal one. Now I'd like to show you the beginner friendly one. Je blanc content is the same one as before. You need to fill in the blank or to conjugate. And in this case, it's both because it's a verb, so we need to conjugate it in the blank. Je suis content. Je suis content. And again, the second one, we saw it already. Type in the correct answer. Je suis content. And that's that. I will now go to browse to give you a better overview of everything. You can see over here, we have the beginner friendly one, which is uh, card type number one, card number two. And you can see it in the normal one as well. If you click on sort field, everything is sorted. Then you can see card type number one, card type number two. And you can see here, number three, number four are new. And uh, essentially the difference between the beginner one and normal one is translation. In the normal one, you have to translate. In the beginner friendly, you do not. I'll now, I'll now move on to point number two is which set should you use? Now, my general recommendation is this. If you're a beginner, please use beginner friendly set. Now, why is this? It's because these two are already quite powerful and in my opinion, they're very much sufficient. They test what you need to test, you do what you need to do, and this sets you up nicely to progress and to learn. Uh, the normal one contains translation. Now, there's a bit of different findings within the literature as to whether you should translate or you should not translate. So in the end, I just leave it up to personal preference. If you're already familiar with learning a language and you do like to have a bit of translation in it, please do this. However, if you're a beginner, I do recommend that you just stick with these two. This is already quite powerful. You are learning a lot and it's easy to get into. And if you want to know, I also stick with this set. I think it's quite powerful and I don't like to translate that often as there are so many different ways to translate something. So that's that for point two. I'll now move on to point three is, okay, how do you actually change to your preferred set? And it's very, very simple. However, there's one small issue. I'm going to show it to you now. Control A, when you go to French A1 verbs, right mouse click, change note type, but then you get this small error message. Please select cards from only one note type. Now, what is the issue is that there are two note types here or two different sets of card types. Beginner friendly one and the normal one. And the beginner friendly one is the outlier. So what do we do? The most efficient way is simply go to decks and just move the beginner friendly one out of the way. You can put it anywhere you want. 
I'll just move it to my Spanish deck, but you can do it whatever you want. Go back to Browse, go to the big deck, Control A or Command A, right mouse click, change node type, and then you can see new node type. Now this is the current one, but we want to go to beginner friendly. So beginner friendly, choose, this matches, so it's good. Change type in blank field to type in blank field. This matches and nothing, nothing. That's good. Okay. Yes. And as you can see, we have two for every card, for two for every sentence. But what if you think, hey, I actually regret my choice. I want to go back to the normal ones. That's fine as well. Same process. Control A or Command A. Change node type. Uh, then go to new node type, go to the language atlas card, which is the normal one. Uh, you go to conjugate fill in, type in a blank, everything matches. It's all good. Okay. And that's that. And that's it for this video. We have seen the different card types. I've told you which one you should use, the beginner friendly one if you're a beginner, or the normal one if you're already a bit more experienced and know what you want. And I've shown you how to change back and forth. You can rewatch the video again if you are a bit unsure about things. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or simply go to languageatlas.com. I will put some more information in the description as to where you can get the decks and any other relevant information. Thank you for listening.